Hi everyone. In this particular video, I'm going to really quickly go over what is the JSON data format. So JSON simply stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's a data interchange format that stores data in a really easy and organized way. It's easy for us to use and also easy for us to understand because it uses a map data structure. At a high level, the data is just stored in key value pairs. It's separated by commas, curly braces hold objects, and square brackets hold arrays. Now, if we look at this screen here, I've got a quick overview that I really want to go into. The first thing that you need to understand is a key value pair, where you'll have a field name such as the first name, and then you'll have the value after a colon, which is John. Next, I want you to understand what an object is. An object is inside a curly bracket, such as this example, and it will contain multiple key value pairs, such as first name John, last name Smith, and position forward. Next above this, you'll have arrays. Arrays are inside square brackets, such as these, and they'll contain a list of objects, such as these. Now, if we go into this example in more detail, what we can see is that players here is an array, which contains that list of objects, which have player attributes, and then each attribute itself is a different key value pair. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to our bubble editor and go to my API connector where I've set up an API call to really show how this JSON data format is structured and also understood by bubble. So what I'm connecting to here is the news API. And what that will give me is simply a list of news headlines from around the world that have the search query Bitcoin. So if I initialize this call, I will get this information here. But what I want to first show you is the raw data. So if I look at the raw data, it's in a JSON format. And I can see articles here, which is the array because it has that square, square bracket. Then I can see this curly bracket, which has the object itself. And then within the object, I can see all these key value pairs, such as the author, the title, and then the value, the description and the value. And I can see multiple lists of objects. So each object has the same key, has the same keys but different values. And now if I scroll up, I can see how Bubble understands this information. It looks at this array and it will store it as a list called API call article or as that data format, which we can call and view in our Bubble editor. And then within the object, all of these, these keys will appear. And then these values will be here and we can identify what type of data format the value is. Should it be a text, number or date or, or anything else? And we can modify this or Bubble usually understands this. And this is how Bubble will allow us to display the information on the page in our Bubble editor. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave a comment below.